Hey everybody, Marcos Viegas here, post-fight. Sirius Kitsit saw Rungbinsai versus Roman Chocolatito Gonzalez 2, where Rungbinsai knocks out Roman Gonzalez in the fourth round in shocking fashion. I'm being joined here with the lead trainer, Abel Sanchez. And Abel, what'd you make of the knockout, man? It's a, it's a shocking one. You know, yes and no. I think that when two guys exchange like that, somebody gets caught. And that's what makes this sport so so dramatic and uh, so on the edge of your seat type of, um, uh, of action that we had today but also I've always thought that uh, Chocolatito was a 105 pounder he's won four titles in four different divisions and you have a, a tag guy that's coming down from you from 125, 123 pounds to make 15 so I think the size is, is beginning to get to Chocolatito. Uh, the size, the fact that they're all bigger than he is, uh, I think is getting to him. Uh, I think that his skills are great, uh, but his punch is not something that keeps guys off of him. And when you got a guy willing to exchange with you in the middle of the ring and somebody lands a great shot, which he did, I uh, heard him the first time with the second one, Chocolatito, being the warrior that he is, wasn't going to back down, and he gets caught with the second good shot. So, um, I'm not going to say it's unexpected. I, I knew somebody was going to get that back from the previous fight. Uh, they had quite a great fight, which I thought Chocolatito won the first one. But it doesn't matter what I thought, the judges thought different. Um, but I always thought, like I said, that I thought Chocolatito's size was the difference in why he was having such tough fights at that rate. It was weird because Ron Mitzai would punch him, and you didn't know if it was hurting. Roman, but it was moving it, it was physically moving, moving it. Yes, exactly. you know? And I felt in the first fight, I think some of the judges looked at that, and even though Chocolatito landed a lot of punches, Rungasai's punches were actually moving Roman, and it looked like it was perceived more damage. It's a size difference. It's a size difference from uh, from 105 pounder to uh, 122 pounder to 115. Um, it may not have been hurting him, but those punches take a toll. Uh, those punches eventually wear you down, uh, and those punches eventually land in the right spot, which was right on the tip of the chin when he got caught with the last one. So, um, hopefully he's okay. Um, he's had a great career. Uh, I don't know what he's going to do next, but uh, whatever he does, uh, I'm sure the fans will, will love him for it if he decides to hang him up. But he's, uh, Grilled us with so many great fights that it wouldn't matter, I don't think. If he decides to continue, I think he needs a rest. I know he's going to get a rest. I think mean, so guy's going to do the right thing for him. Uh, but it is important to note that uh, uh, he was a much bigger guy in front of him uh, today. We got all sorts of people walking through over here. We're live. We're kind of live. I'm not going to edit that out. But uh, in no way made his debut. Yes. He showed a lot of skills. Walked down Nieves. Nieves is a tough dude. But he showed what he's known for, a lot of power in there. Uh, yes, uh, I think his skills have to catch up with that power. I think he's still a little green. I think he, still, he just throws punches just to throw him at, at a target. It doesn't, I mean, at a, at a, at a space, I should say, not at a target. He still has to, I think he's a little green. I think he still has to learn to place his punches. He's just throwing it at, at, uh, at an area. And when you throw in an area, something's going to hit, and he was hitting on the body, he was hitting on the body, he was hitting on the body, he really wasn't placing the shots that he needed to place him to be able to put him out.